the, I'm a little short on assets right now, but I'm trying to manage them and get them where they need to be. <laughs> Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. Alright people, today is a super duper important topic. Importing and managing your media assets. Now you may ask, why is it so important? Well, it's important because if you can't import your media, you can't make videos, alright? If you don't know where your media assets are, or you're having trouble managing them, then it's gonna take longer for you to create your projects, all right? So this video is for all of my Pinnacle peeps out there. I'm gonna show you some love importing and managing your media assets. Let's get into it. All right, Pinnacle peeps, here we are in Pinnacle Studio 17 Ultimate. Let's jump right into the 411 with a discussion on importing files. One of the most important features of Pinnacle Studio 17 is the watch folder feature. They're called watch folders because Pinnacle Studio 17 watches the location you select for media files that are added and then it automatically adds the files to your media library. Presto change your asset rearrange your. I don't know why I just said that. You know, I always wanted to be a magician and stuff. So, you know, I just said that. My bad. This extra snazzy feature makes media assets accessible to Pinnacle Studio 24-7, 365 from the navigation slider or from the organize tab. The first time you start Pinnacle Studio, you'll receive a message asking you to set up your watch folders. The locations you select as a watch folders should always be attached to your system and they gotta be fast enough to handle video files or your data transfers are gonna be as slow as freaking molasses. You can adjust, add, or remove watch folders by going to Setup, Control Panel, and Watch Folders. Right here, you got your options for adding, removing, applying changes, and all of that good stuff. Now, you can also select which media files or which media types are in each watch folder. That way, you can recognize which assets are in each location when you're searching for files to use in your projects. So let's get into the next way you can import media the import tab. Now as you can see on the left hand side from the import tab you can access media from a connected webcam, a digital camera, a DVD, a Blu-ray, your computer or the cloud. You can also scan a drive for specific assets, create stop-motion videos or take snapshots of your videos. We'll start off by taking a gander at my computer. Here you have access to any drive or disk that is attached to your computer. Let's go ahead and grab a file. First you want to select the location where the media of your choice is located. Now Pinnacle is going to scan for all the media in that location as you can see it just did. If you only want specific files in that location, select Uncheck All. Check the box of the file or files you want to import. If you leave it on Link, it will link to the file in its current location. If you select Copy, you get some new options that open up. And you can choose the location that you want to copy it to by double clicking on it. You can even choose subfolders if you wish to do so. Or you can choose new folder and create a new folder under any one of the drives here. Then all you got to do is click OK. 
Now, you can also choose whether you want to delete the original file and if you want to ignore any duplicate files. You can also create metadata which can be used as a search term to find the file later and change the file name if you wish to do so. Now all you got to do is click on start import and the file will be located where you selected to place it. Fancy, ain't it? All right, let me close this out. And let's go back to the import tab. And let's go ahead and take a look at a attached device. Now I got my Canon T3 connected via USB, so let's go ahead and turn this on. And blood out. You see, I got my Canon EOS Rebel T3 connected. Now, when you select a device, Pinnacle Studio 17 is going to connect to it, and then it's going to scan it for the media that's on it. Blood out. Once again, I like the blood out, as you can tell. Now all you have to do is use the same steps we use for the My Computer option to transfer data to the library. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. If you don't remember exactly where you placed the file, the scan for assets option will play Where's Waldo and find it for you. So all you got to do is select scan for assets. Then you want to select the drives or folders or devices that you want to search. Then at the bottom, you can select the different media types if you wish to do so. So you can kind of just narrow down your search. You can put any metadata tags or anything else that you want to look for in here too if you want to narrow it even more. And then you just click on scan and import. Now the files that match your search will be available in the library. Once again, that was freaking simple. Another way to get media in the Pinnacle Studio 17 is the quick import function. This can be done by right clicking anywhere in the media library window and selecting quick import or by using the quick import button. You can use this feature to import media from a device that's not set up as a watch folder or media that you added to a watch folder while editing if it has yet to be recognized. Just click on the import button and navigate to a file location. and click open. Now the file is in your library, ready to be tossed into your project with the rest of your lovely footage. <sighs> Video bliss. Let's move on, let's move on and stay strong. Now, let's talk about the spot where all of your imported media lives, the library. You can view your library assets while editing by hovering over the navigation bar. Or you can jump right into the library by clicking on the Organize tab. Let's give the Organize tab a quick click and see what's going on in there. On the left side of the screen, you have your different sections. Media contains the files in your watch folders. Projects contains your saved projects. Collections contains any collections you made and content contains Pinnacle Studio 17 files such as transitions, titles, effects, montages, all of that good stuff. Any location that you currently have open in the edit tab will show on the top of the screen. If you open a new tab, it'll display all your media. You can then select media from a specific location and it'll show up under that tab. You can narrow media down to specific files using ratings, 3D tags, or the search option. You can close any tab by clicking on the X on the tab. Now, while we're up here, let's talk about those four options I just mentioned. You can filter between 2D and 3D media by selecting the 3D filter. Let's go to these photos here. Let's just go ahead and change this to photos. I'm going to click on 3D. And bam. 
you got your 3D option right there. Now, any media that is 3D will have a 3D icon to the right of its rating. Click on the tags button to create tags for a specific clip, or you can filter the library for specific tags. You can also filter the media under the tab by selecting how many stars it has. You can apply stars to a clip by hovering over the top of the clip and selecting how many stars you want it to have. The search option allows you to search the library for files, tags, folders, all kind of goodness. So let's go ahead and go to the search option and let's look up muzzle flash. And hit enter. All the files and folders with the word muzzle flash appear. Now you can click the X on the right side of the orange bar to close out the search. At the bottom of the screen, you have four options. Display information, display scenes, thumbnail view, and details view. Display information provides information on a selected file. There's also a little eye on the top right corner of each file, which displays the same information. If I click on a file and I click on the eye, I get this pop up here where I can actually change the caption to rename it something that I want it to be named. Now, if I do that, it'll change the information and the name of it within Pinnacle Studio 17, but it will retain its original file name on your computer. Display scene shows all of the scenes that make up a specific video clip. We'll get into more on that in a bit. Thumbnail view and detail view allow you to select the option that's best suited for your viewing of your media in the library. In the thumbnail view, you can select which indicators you want to appear with the thumbnail. And the slider bar over here to the right is active when you're in a thumbnail view and it lets you change the size of all of your thumbnails. Of course, if you select the detail view, then it also lets you select the different indicators that you can see. And when you press on it, you get all of your details listed there. Let's go back into the thumbnail view for the people. All right. While we're down here, let's talk about scene detection. Now, scene detection splits your video clips uh, based on changes detected in the video. So let's do this. Let's right click on a video clip. Let's go to detect scenes and let's go to content. Gonna say uh, run the scene detection, of course. Yes, I'm gonna click on start, and there it is. Got a little extra box around this thumbnail here. It's crazy. Now we want to see the scene, so I'm gonna right click on it, and I can go to show scenes, or I can click the show scenes button down here. But I'm just gonna click on this one and show scenes. Now if I double click on any of these scenes here going to ask me if I want to create a new clip. I'm going to say yes. And now I got the option to trim it even more if I wanted to, or I can go ahead and go to adjustments and make corrections of any kind that I want on here, or I can even add it to a collection if I want to add it to a collection. Now I can just close this out, click on this X here. And if you're in the scenes view, let's just go back to the, let's click on this. Let's just do show scenes. And if you're in the scenes view, once again, you got the X on the right hand side of this orange bar. You can close that to close up your scenes view. Now, I brought up collections a little while ago. So let's talk about collections. Now, collections are one of my favorite parts of the library because it gives me a lot of flexibility over what I do. Now, if you look over here on the right, you can see I got a lot of collections already set up. Now these collections are here. They're ready for me to grab any clips or whatever and use in any project without me having to go to any of the uh, media areas and look for them under the media trees. It's real easy for me to get the stuff from here. 
So let's set up a new collection. First, we're going to click on the Create New Collection button. Now I'm going to call this one Virtual Reality Sets because I got some virtual reality sets that I want to add. And I'm going to click OK. All right now, if I want to, I can go to Photos right here and I can go find my virtual reality sets here. Just click on this. And then, guess what? I could just start dragging these bad boys one by one over to the new one I created, virtual reality sets. Just let it go and it'll be in there. But I'm not going to do that. All right? I want to set it up in folders, kind of like they set up in folders already. So if I want to set them up in folders, I need to do a little bit of work to get that done. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to Import. When I go to import, I'm going to go to scan for assets. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I can go to a location where I want to go specifically and get a specific folder of information. So now I'm going to go find my virtual reality folder. So I know it's under elements, photos, and virtual reality. So I'll click this little plus sign. And now I got all of these different folders and stuff in here. All right. So I'm not going to just select virtual reality. I want to select each folder one at a time because I want to select different subfolders and create different subfolders. So I'm going to click on bonus local news and I'm going to leave it available for all types of assets. And I'm going to click scan and import. Boom. So now I got my latest import up here and it says there's 14 items in this latest import. So what I'm going to do is, right, is double click on this. Let's right click it. My bad. And click on rename. So I know it's called bonus newsroom. And hit enter. Now what I'm going to do is drag it to my virtual reality sets. And notice there's no arrow, no carrot next to it. But once I drag this to it, bam. I got a little carrot. And now if I drop it down, I got the extra folder here, bonus newsroom. So I can just keep doing that and adding more subfolders and more subsets like I did with all of these bad boys right here. All right, easy way for me to get to my files. Collections, I want to hug you. Yeah. Last thing I want to show you here in the library. The library allows you to make corrections and apply corrections to all of your future projects or you could just apply them to specific projects. So if I wanted to make a correction to this file here. I could just double click on it. And if I do it from the organized tab and I make any changes to it, then those changes will be saved for any projects that I use it for in the future. All right. So remember that any changes you make here, whether you're trimming, you make an adjustments, whatever, it'll change it forever. Okay. You got to remember that if you just want to make changes for a specific video or whatever, then you need to go to the edit tab and you need to go grab your file, put it into the timeline, and then make your corrections from there. All right, so just double click on it and go to corrections. That's it. Whew. I'm tired, out of breath. Think I need a respirator. Ugh, I'm gonna go take a nap or something. All right, Pinnacle peeps, that's it. It's a wrap. Now, Pinnacle Studio 17 offers a multitude of options for you to import media from different types of devices to offer your computer. It is just fantastic and making sure that you have resources to go ahead and pull the data that you need to create your projects. Also, as you can tell from the video, there are a plethora of ways that you can manage your assets and move them around to make sure that you can get to them effectively and efficiently all right now you guys know the routine hit me up on youtube that's pinnacle studio pro on youtube as a matter of fact hit me up on facebook hit me up on twitter hit me up on google plus hit me up all over the world baby thanks for watching we'll see you again soon